As you guys noticed in that charming little intro there, I have been hitting the head with a lot of metal folding chairs. Some of them, I even remember a few of them. But having posted earlier the video, the reaction and breakdown video of chair shots, I thought this would be a fun time to tell you guys a story about a specific chair shot I took that went where everything went. Eh, well, it, it all went wrong in a very, very brutal and bloody manner. And I ended up with an injury that looked like, well, it looked like I jumped on a grenade to save my platoon, but used only the back of my head to cover, to cover the grenade. I'll warn you guys before that picture comes up, because it might be more than some people want to look at, but here's the story. Okay, so it was much later in my career. I believe I'd already officially retired, but I used to come back for special shows and stuff like that. And I was doing an angle for this one group where they were doing the old guard versus the young guard. And of course I was the leader of the old guard and I was like the commissioner for a time and everything. Well, long story short, I, as the leader of the old guard, I had a match scheduled with the leader of the young guard. In it, that he was going to win and I was going to have him take me out, knock me out with a chair shot. So we put the whole thing together and he had a female manager. I gave, you know, we gave her a responsibility. I would have already brought the chair into the ring. It would be laying there. I was going to go to the rope. She grabs my foot. I turn around, I draw with her and she could, she would tell me, give me the signal when he was ready to hit me with the chair. So we get, we put the match all together. Sounds like a really good match, telling a really good story. And the last thing this kid says to me is, Curtis, I've never hit anybody with a, a chair before. What, what should I do? <laughs> okay. So I told him, I said, listen, I'm going to feed you a solid headshot. I said, when I turn around, I'm going to look right at you. My head will be tipped slightly forward. I want you to hit me right here. I said, hit me with the seat of the chair and hold on to the legs. I said, because when you hit me, the legs are gonna try and open. And if you let them open, the chair is gonna swing around and sandwich me and gash the back of my head. And he's like, okay, okay. And he says, now how hard do I hit you? And that's where it gets sticky because believe it or not, what typically happens with a green guy in a situation like that is they'll hit you too easy because they don't wanna hurt you. So I told him, I said, listen, I, I'm saying listen a lot. I told him, I said, listen, <laughs> I'm selling a knockout. I said, don't tap me with it. I said, give that a swing. Just hit me with it safely. Hit me right in the center of the seat. Hold on to the legs, but swing it. I said, and I'm telling you, if you tap me with it, if you don't swing it, I'm not going to sell it and I'm going to punch you in the face. I said, don't make me look stupid. I was just trying to, I wasn't trying to be a bully. I'm trying to drive it home to him so we'll actually swing it. Because Again, I was proud of the story we're telling. It was going to be a good story. This is the payoff. I didn't want the guy, this kid to go dink onto my forehead. So he's like, okay, Curtis, I got you. Go through the match. The match came off without a hitch. We get right to that spot. His manager did everything perfectly. I'm calling her a bitch and stuff, you know, and we're drawing back and forth. She goes, okay, he's ready. I turn around. This freaking kid has the chair back to here, as far back as he can wind up with it. And I'm like... And I remember as I'm feeding my head thinking, well, he's not going to swing it too easy. <laughs> and he came down and bo-wham, and he did it perfectly safely. He hit me square with the seat, had a hole of the legs. Problem was, he hit me so hard, my head actually went through the seat of the chair. Now, when that happens, it's the same effect as if you would let go of the legs. Boom, it comes back. It sandwiched me, and then it gashes the back of your head. Now, I'm going to show you the actual wound, the pictures the picture you saw in the thumbnail of this video was the front view. This is the actual wound. I'm going to count it down if you want to look away because it's 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 a bad it's a bad wound. Okay, I'm going to show it in three, two, one. That's what happened. That's what <laughs> that's what a chair will do when it sandwiches and comes around and gets the back of your head. Okay, and if you're looking away, you can look back now. So the funny thing was, now this isn't a tough guy thing or anything. By this time, guys, I'd taken so many chair shots, been in so many hardcore matches. I knew, I, I knew it hurt, but I also knew I'm going to bleed a lot, but it's the back of my head. It's skin and bone. It's, it is what it is. I'll, 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 you know, I'll wrap it up and then I'll, hopefully it'll be 
um, a cut that I can just fix with super glue and we'll go from there. So I lay out for him to pin me. This kid is on top of me and he's got no color left in his face. He's going, Curtis, Curtis, oh my God, Curtis, you're hurt really bad. <laughs> I thought he was going to cry. And it was almost, it was almost funny. I'm like, relax, relax. And so he, uh, he gets the three count. I said, powder out. And he goes, he takes, he, he played the crowd a little bit and he takes off. So I work my way back to my feet. There's a side story to this. If you guys want me to tell you, I will about it. My, my son was very small at the time and he happened to be there for the show <laughs> when I didn't plan on, you know, having uh, exploded back of my head. But that's what can happen when a chair shot goes wrong. And then that, the picture that you've seen, I'll put it up here again. That's the thumbnail, the front shot of me. It almost got to be like meme worthy among our group because I had that stupid big smile on my face. But I'm telling you guys, I love this freaking business. And I didn't care how much the back of my head was hurting. I didn't care if I had tossed another concussion onto the pile. All I knew is I was so pleased with the story we told and the way that match came off. I was just happy. I don't give a shit about the back of my head, you know, being exposed for the world to see. That's this business and I love it.